We're finally here. And the day this part comes up, or is uploaded at least, is the day I should be posting my edit involving the map music. Let's well, spoil the surprise, but I'm very pleased with it so far. Um, I don't know what happened there. I think I missed the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you fly backwards, that's why. So I just, yeah, I totally fucking missed it. Of course. You gotta hold forward. Man, this is going well. I, I don't remember what happens if you miss it. This is a cool little section. Asteroid Coaster in general was fucking rad. I don't know if you can tell from the name, you know, like Asteroid Coaster, and from the level we're looking at. So here's the purple wisp. Frenzy. So I just missed that, sadly. This is a little harder to control than you'd think. The turning isn't very good. But yeah, you get points for just destroying shit. And you get larger and larger, the um, more you can shoot. Oh, that was a little ballsy. This camera angle is actually pretty rad. I don't think they've ever done that in another 3D Sonic game like this. That's really neat. Okay, so we have to jump to this one. Because eventually it goes off the rails. Or at least the rails take you below the kill box. So I don't remember which is the ideal path. It's probably jumping onto the other coaster. The one running parallel. Little open sections like this are pretty neat, actually. I wish the game was more like this in some place. Uh, some places, I should say. Cool, rather than singular. Well, I'm assuming that life was due to the, um, the coast that we didn't take. Outstanding on Yeah, but Asteroids Coast has got some really fucking rad set pieces. That is not one of them. <laughs> well, I mean, it would have been, had I not fucked it royally. So boosting is what killed me. So you can't boost to win anymore, guys. Yeah. So it's a homing attack puzzle. That's what fucked me up. But this is really awesome. I love this level. Ah, yeah, here we go. This is where the galaxy comparison becomes quite apt. Because now we've got anti-gravity. In some cool ways. Hey, red ring. And if it's that, if it's the fourth one, that means we're pretty close to the end, eh? Okay, friends, you didn't proc. Proc. Didn't go off. That was weird. Maybe it's because I was in a 2D sec- No, 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 that works it. Oh, that felt like that wasn't going to work. Um, we will go to that planet eventually, don't worry. Actually, you, I'm pretty sure you can run around it, right? Oh, 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 that was spooky. Yeah. We can destroy some shit too, actually. Let's just... Uh -oh. I feel like I'm about to... Die. I was thinking of something completely different. No, not Adventure 2. Well, yes, the space levels work like that, that's not what I was confusing it with. That was just my own ineptitude. Something you will see recurring, time and time again. Your wings will burn in anguish. You'll be something worse than death. You'll be... Oh. Hollows are things that feed on D-ranks. Your past, your future... It won't have any meaning. Because this game will be kind of written out of canon to a degree. I really want to know if those statues are meant to be Aldia in 3. The ones in the Grand Ar Archives. Because if so, good. Fuck yeah. That'd be cool if Aldia continued to exist. Man, it feels like something, something that was meant to be Aldia but not really an Elden Ring. Or any from self game following up, that'd be really cool. Even more patches is actually out. 
No, wait a minute. Hold on. That can't be right. That That's a joke. But in my mind, in a sense, Patches does not appear in Dark Souls 2. Hate does. But maybe. <laughs> that's rad. Maybe. Maybe Eldia is actually Patches. Or Patches is Eldia, rather. Maybe he is not ruled by time. Because time is convoluted after all. That's a cop out we enjoy from Dark Souls 1. I mean, it's not any dumber than the whole fucking thing of Solar is the worm. At least I'm having fun with my dumb theory. Ah, uh, that'd be funny though, if that actually held any water. Ah, uh, this, this meteor's pretty cool. I forget if we have to homing attack that, I think we do. Yeah, this section's pretty fucking rad. It kind of feels like I'm just auto-destroying a few of them when I press A. I'm not even pressing it enough to destroy all that shit. Frenzy! Eat and shoot. Frame rate. We're eating the frame rate, kids. You thought EDF was bad, you ain't fucking seen anything, apparently. I'm not going back for it. I don't care enough. Having less trouble with uh, this level, which is weird enough. Now, I was going to bring it up, but it hasn't occurred so far. I'm pretty sure what happens in these sections. What the hell hit me? I assume that was a laser. If you're in front of those, um, push blocks, I, I don't know what to call them, these fucking weak contraptions, I'm pretty sure what ends up happening is you get pushed off the screen and you die. I feel like that's what happens. Oh, Christ. This was, uh, a terrible mistake, I suppose. Some description. Yeah, there we go. Fuck. This, this level wasn't doing half, I wasn't doing half bad. Until this. Fuck. So we're just gonna play it cool. We're gonna play it safe. No reason to gun it in a Sonic game. That would be dumb. So we're safe here because this won't move. Beautiful. We have escaped. Yeah, the gravity changing is actually pretty rad. I like it a lot. Again. Very reminiscent of Mario Galaxy, isn't it? Oh fuck. Welcome back to another boost or die- a boost and die section, basically. A boost or die. Okay, we're just waiting to see. Alright. Because I'm pretty sure that's the ledge we've got to get to. I'm pretty sure I can hear the goal. Either that or I'm going fucking nuts. Yeah, that's a goal. Okay, so that part's quite generous there. I'm not going back, it's not worth it. I mean, if there's a life there, I won't really care. Oh, this is, this is spooky. It's like that uh, level from Mario Maker. Familiar, but spooky. Okay, we're really close. Aha! That's gotta be, see, the absolute best. Oh! Oh, that's right. So, there's a difficulty spike, but on top of that, the rankings are actually pretty lenient, I think. Proportional to the amount of points you get. I think that's mostly due to the Frenzy Wisp. Okay, no dice. Damn it. Yeah, I think it's just the Frenzy Wisp helps get you so, helps you get so many bloody points. That it kind of counteracts a lot of the deaths. So that's not bad. Perfectly designed for me in that case. Uh, this is... You know, all variations of this track is cool, but this one especially is pretty fucking rad. Oh no, you don't, quick draw. Yeah, so this is another puzzle level, if you couldn't tell. Oh, shit. So I'm pretty sure it's if you go in front of these, they trigger. Yeah, there we go. So that's how you do that. So yeah, that's right. There's two ways to do this. We're gonna take it away. It's probably dumber. Fuck. 
All right, well, no point, not restarting. Cubit. Wish I had got those rings. There we go. Well done, me. Probably shouldn't have hit that. I guess this say shoot is like a choose your own difficulty, difficulty in that sense. Because I could have just avoided getting that. And then made my way. Um, yeah, prove a checkpoint on the way back. That's kind of weird. I don't think that's intentional at all, but that's actually a pretty neat concept. I think there's been like a level in these Sonic games, including Adventure, where you have like almost like a looping back design to a level because that'd be an interesting mechanic to play around with like if you came, ran into like this central imagine like a dungeon level basically you ran into the central room that ha had a few checkpoints and you could choose when to get them I mean you probably have to limit it so people didn't fuck themselves over okay yeah this is a really good level I like this one a lot obviously the red ring's a little harder to get here because you have to know when they're coming up so yeah, if you hit the um, big motor bugs, well, you know. Damn it, I thought I was in uh, half of that red ring. The mic's blocking me again. That's half the problem here. There we go. Beautiful. So as you can see, it's not really that long of a level, because we're already... Yep. Yeah, we're most of the way. It's just a race, effectively. Was that a switch? Yeah. I think it's something like that. There's some mechanic to this. I think that was a switch. I think you have to be on the outside track, is it? Maybe? Oops. Yeah, there we go. Aha, we got the last one by pure chance. There's a gold ring. You fucker, hit me right at the end. Yeah, so conceptually, that level's actually pretty fucking cool. I like that a lot. I remembered it, but I forgot that's how it works. That's really neat. Okay. I like how I've had less trouble here on the quote-unquote hardest part of the game. Story time. What is this place? Whoa. This is where he converts them into the strange negative aliens with the freaky energy. Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you for a second. Did you find anything interesting? Look at all of them. He's captured thousands of aliens. Don't worry. We'll get them out. Sonic, I haven't seen Yakker for a while. You'll have to excuse me, buddy. I have a generator to shut down. This is good characterization for Sonic. This kind of moment's really good. Definitely rings true to the old games. People, I remember people pointing out back, um, with the World of Light trailer, that bit where Sonic reaches to save Pikachu, which, yes, I know, it's incredibly overplayed. But that's actually a really good bit of character they slid in there. And it's really natural, too. It makes sense. Of course he tried to save Pikachu. And I guess, to a degree, they kind of don't have some of those moments now, which kind of sucks. I mean, obviously, you have big hero Sonic trying to save the world, but, you know, those little moments of characterization obviously do add up, because that one sticks in my mind, and that's from fucking Smash Bros. Not a Sonic game. So they do add up, that's for sure. They stay in my mind. Alright, Frenzy Tone. That's a laser. Oh. Up we go. Or not. Okay, so that happened. We are aiming the wrong way, apparently. That also happened. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's grab Frenzy for the sake of it. Points. Consume product. Repost red letter media picture. Get funny. <laughs> Just consume product. Just consume gift. Consume PNG. Without thinking too hard about what they were trying to say in that, um... Parody segment. Uh, oh, Christ. 
Man, I wonder if William Shatner's ever gonna fight with him anymore. That, that was the funniest part, like, Rich Evans fucking nailed it. Karma was kinda come back and hit Mike so fucking hard. And then it's fucking William Shatner giving him trouble on Twitter. Oh, beautiful. No way this is an S. That's fine by me. A's are pretty good. Man, this is fucking crazy, isn't it? Why am I having a much easier time on the quote-unquote hardest part of the game? It boggles the mind. Alright, so we're just going to finish the game tonight. Fuck it. Done in two sessions. Cool. In my mind, I was going to, like, stop before terminal velocity. But I've talked it up way too much at this point. I was going to stop and I was going to practice to make sure, you know, I... Um, rightio, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> this level's also really fucking cool. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know, I don't know what happened with the stick just then. That was fucking bizarre. Okay, yeah, alright. So, holding forward. You gotta hold forward. I, um, I held right. So, we have learned what causes the fucking problem. Sorry, I had to restart twice to determine that. Either that, or this GameCube controller is fucking possessed. It causes bad things to happen when playing Sonic Colors. Up we go! Beautiful. Again, look at this fucking place. This is rad. It's a nice change from the grinding sections too. It's thematically appropriate. It's a nice little... You know, fresh take on the kind of formula, I guess, for those kind of levels. Alright, now, which train is it best to be on? I forget. Yeah, middle, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you miss that, you just fucking die. Ah, here's the part I was talking about way back. Much, much earlier. I knew that wasn't, but for a second I was like, is that the fucking goal ring? Yeah, so those... These fucking platforms will send Fortress here. They will willingly throw you into spikes, no problem. Oh, it's this room. This room's pretty fucking... That, that room's really cool. It's that one bit at the end of this level that's actually cool. It's like a mini boss fight. It's pretty rad. I got it to work perfectly the first time, I think, as a kid. As a kid, as a fucking... What, is it a year 10 student? I don't know why phrasing it like that, that's what I was. Alright, so I don't know why friends even work there, that was quite annoying. We just stick to the roof, Kirby, like I said. Oh, look at him, look at his rabid little fucking terrier. Or whatever the hell. Okay, so I was clearly meant to use it in the water, but it didn't work last time, so I don't know what's going on there. Bingo. Just fucking speed through those fish. Get ready for... Frenzy. So, you see, we're actually in the Nightmare of Mensis. Doesn't that make a lot more sense? Yeah, I'm making that joke, but it actually does to me. Because, yeah, we are frenzying out in this weird alien hellscape. Sonic Colors confirmed to be the true precursor to uh, Bloodborne. Not Demon Souls. You were, you were fucking had. You were made fools of. Even my immediate franchise fell for it. Oh, I missed that. Damn it, that would have told us how far through the level we are. I'm conserving this boost because I don't know when I'm just about to fucking die. Oh, here we go. This is the part I was talking about. Alright, yeah. So I've already figured out the gimmick. Yeah. I think you have too. You get sucked into this little null void generator over here. And you just have to homing attack. And guess what? I reckon it's going to be three times. Fucking nailed it. And now we descend. 
I'm pretty sure this will lead us right to the goal. Then. Yep. Fucking skydive into it, baby. Alright. So that's what's meant to be like the hardest level of the game. Yeah, terminal velocity, again, I'm talking up. Feels like the fucking victory lap. There is like one or two hard bits to it, but it's, honestly, it's just a fucking giant set piece, and I'm okay with it. Alright. Now, I remember the, 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 the. I remember the gimmick from the other night. So I'll do a lot better here. You know, See what I, I mean? Like what doing, this one looks even there. fucking cooler. Stretching. You got a problem with that? I want to be able to fully enjoy taking you apart without some pulled muscle slowing me down. Can Sonic okay, pull muscles? This ready. is what's really important to the franchise. Run away, please feel free. There's no shame in it. Okay. Well, maybe a little shame. I understand you gotta taunt him and all that. But I feel you like guys don't talk much, do you? I feel like Fair this cutscene would have been don't stronger. Um would have been more impactful with the whole I'm gonna mess you up part at the very end, you know, implying that, you know, he's actually genuinely pissed off as opposed to, you know, immediately going into taunting. So, here's the gimmick. Wonder if you can tell what it is. Same as last time, just slightly harder, supposedly. Alright, now which way are we doing this? I have rocket, so I believe if we get directly under it, it'll count. Okay, he teleports away like a coward. Fucking goddamn it. Okay. Hey shit lord. Fucking get it. Come on, rings. Come on, rings. Oh, that was really hard to see actually. Well done, game. Now, this isn't exceptionally challenging, but this is just really cool looking and fun. You gonna teleport away, coward? Gonna fucking lag out? Okay. So let's just stay back for the most part. Yeah, I totally forgot how this worked initially, which is why I got hit straight away, as opposed to then. So yeah, if you don't just do this, it becomes a smuff, I think. Effectively. Oh! Quite over! Way easier, isn't it? In spite of the fact it's meant to be harder. Let's get let's get those points real quick. Damn it. Could have could have grinded out some more. Alright, come on, S rank. Come on, S rank. Fuck you. Ah <laughs> oh, well, good enough. Alright, end of the game in sight. Three, three levels left, including the final boss. Jeez, wonder who it could be in this Sonic the Hedgehog game. Ooh, that was almost difficult. Sonic, almost. You did it. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Thanks. Hey, we both deserve some kind of reward. Planet yeah. Wisp was actually harder. What the fuck? All right, but uh, one that's you know less. I'm wondering if I should stop for sync reasons because <laughs> Audacity eventually desyncs, which is a bit so. annoying. Oh well, Looks fuck it. Like it. Once the power went off, the locks vanished. I hope Yakker's okay. I think you'll be fine. You don't think the weapon you were shot with still works? Not without power flowing to it. I think we're all good. That's what right, yeah. Well done. Game's over, I guess. Walk into the not sunset. Into the alien goop. Out of the chain shatter, I forget. A bit of a dumb thing to say. Little tractor beams. Okay, they evaporate like that, got it. Yeah, sweet. Is it sweet now? You helped, I guess, Tails. You see, this is meant to harken back to the end of Return of the Jedi. This is the f this is the little celebration on Endor. We? I don't totally. Fighting off any insane robots.
robots. True. Well, our friends Eva. On inventing a translator that allowed us to speak to the aliens and figure out exactly what we needed to do so we weren't running. Yeah, away shut up. Don't take too much credit. Oh no. Wait. That was me. Good yeah, point. but Either way, we can get look, I know I'm a, so, I'm a sarcastic piece of shit sometimes, Tails, but that wasn't very good. Then again, Sonic is stupid enough, he might not have figured it out. Or at least in-game Sonic. I think he's smarter in the comics from what I know. Man, I guess Sonic is like Goku in a few ways after all. Haha, <laughs> who would have seen that comparison? Cough. Okay, 